Hello creatives, today we'll be painting this gorgeous Easter themed floral wreath. It has beautiful patterned Easter eggs, couple of roses, some simple flowers and then leaves. I also went ahead and added little bit of brush lettering along with this and a tiny bunny ear accent. You can choose to skip that. The supplies that you'll be needing for this video are some round brushes in different sizes and then you would also want watercolors. I'm going for a more pastel theme, so I'm gonna use um, some half pans and some Winsor & Newton watercolors. In case you wanna know exactly which supplies I'm using, please find all the details in the descriptions below. Also, I have provided a sketch for this exact wreath on my Patreon, so make sure to check that out. You can simply take the sketch transfer it to your watercolor paper and then straight forward just go ahead with the watercolor. Okay so without further ado let's dive straight into the wreath. I'm gonna start with our first egg and you can see that it has polka dots sketched out so I'm taking a dusky blue color and I'm carefully marking around the polka dots. What I'll do here is to bring in some value difference. I will go ahead and take a brush which has no paint in it and just water and I'll try and drag paint from the sides that we have just created and marked. I'm also dropping some dark paint in certain areas just to bring in that uh, little bit play of light and shadow. And now I will take a darker color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a lot of ultramarine to this existing powder blue color and we'll paint the polka dots with it. Make sure that base of the egg is dry before you go ahead with the polka dot detail otherwise it's going to bleed in. Right now I'm painting it here and it's summer and so the paints are drying really fast for me. It may differ at your place. Alright, so you can see that I'm adding this darker details to the polka dots and once I'm done with it, I realized that I would want it to be even more darker. So I'm going to go ahead after this entire layer has dried and I'll come back with another wet layer and I'll glaze it over these polka dots. I'm also choosing to add just ultramarine and not mixing it with this powder blue color to certain areas of these polka dots once again to just bring out that light and shadow um, effect. Alright, moving on to our next egg. It's a gorgeous sea green color. So I'm going to first apply the base layer to it. You just want to have a nice neat wash of this color. Make sure to use the tip of your brush whenever you are trying to clean up the edges. I'm going to go ahead and start with my next egg and I'll try to get the bleed between these two but as you can see the sea green egg is already dry. It's summer's here. <laughs> But if possible, try to get a nice bleed between these eggs. That'll call for some really interesting details. Started with my this mauve sort of pink colored egg and I'm adding darker color at different edges. Next up, I'm painting this tiny yellow egg and I'm using sort of like a yellow ochre Naples yellow mixed color. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead with this floral, uh, yellow floral egg and I'm again tracing out the floral bits just with the tip of my brush and once that's done, I'm going to fill in with a light wash of color. You can again choose to lift some of the color in certain areas or drop in some dark pigment. And now we move on to the flowers. I'll start with the rose first. If roses are something that you absolutely love and you'd like to learn it, uh, I have a Skillshare class. It actually features three different types of roses, right from starting with the simplest one and the complex ones and the one that you see exactly right here. So come join me on Skillshare. Uh, there is a link in the descriptions below which gives you 14 day free premium trial of Skillshares. I think I have five to six Skillshare classes as of now. I plan to add more Skillshare classes. So if you're looking for a more detailed in-depth real-time video, then um, I definitely recommend you check out those classes. And 
Once you take the free trial, you will have access to all other thousands of creative classes on Skillshare, not just mine, but from lots of other different artists. So I find it extremely valuable resource as an artist. I would encourage you to go give it a try, especially when you have a free trial. And now I'm going ahead and adding yellow centers. Finally, we'll be moving on to the foliage and let's start painting some leaves. So for leaves also, I'm going to try to use the yellow that we have used for our eggs and the centers of our flowers. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of sap green, undersea green or perylene green. I'm going to keep switching them up just so that we have all sorts of different greens um, in our foliage. And once again, because I have the sketch, I'm just following the outlines and filling it in with gestural strokes. Another great tip for foliages is if you feel that a leaf is dry, make sure to add some darker or lighter colors towards its edges. So once the leaves put dry, I will go ahead and add further more details, not just to the leaves but also to our eggs. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding details to our eggs. Basically I'm going to use the layering technique. I'm going to take more pigmented version of the same color, the sea green color with which we painted this egg and I'm going to start tracing out the pattern that I had sketched out earlier. And I realized that this looks a little too plain for me so I'll go ahead with a thin line and just simply add in to that pattern also I'll be using lifting so if I feel that there's too much of color and it looks a little flat I'll take a clean brush and I'll run it across and lift up some color next up it's the spiral pattern so I'm doing the same thing I'm taking the same mauvish pink color that we painted our egg with make sure to use a very thick consistency of this color uh, to when you're adding final details so think of it like um, almost just 10 percent water and 90 percent paint that's the kind of consistency we are going for so you want something which is really thick and buttery but it is able to flow and it's not like you have to drag it across the paper or it's creating those dry brush strokes so just aim for a thick butter like consistency that's what we are going for when, whenever we are adding details Next up, let's go back to our polka dot egg and I'm gonna redefine the polka dots with a darker shade of ultramarine and mix of this powder blue color. While making sure that every polka dot has some amount of variation, so what I do is I start with a darker color at the very edge and then I take a clean brush and just pull out the color from it. And now for our tiny yellow egg which has a simple stripe pattern I'm just going ahead with a darker yellow color and creating this swirly sort of pattern
Next up, I'm going ahead with my yellow floral egg. I'm going to redefine um, the flower bits. I'm actually kind of adding some shadows so that the colors pop out a bit more. I was not very happy. I felt that the yellow was a little too light for my liking. Now I'm going ahead with a purple, um, deep purple sort of color and filling in the flower bits. All right, now time to add some more details. I'm just going ahead and outlining some of the petals of the flowers, couple of leaves. And finally, we're gonna be doing some faux brush lettering. So how we'll go about this is, I've actually sketched out my words. So what I'll do is for every downstroke, meaning whenever my brush comes towards the downward direction, I will thicken that stroke manually. So you can see for the P, the first stroke was a downward stroke and then when we come to the loop of the P, I start thin but as I'll come down, I'll thicken this stroke like so. So I'm going to continue doing that um, every downward stroke, make sure to make it a little thick and then every upward stroke, you just want to use um, the tip of your brush to get this kind of faux calligraphy effect. Also, I'm doing this with watercolors and a watercolor brush. You can choose to do it with a calligraphy pen as well um, or a dip pen. I think that would also look gorgeous. However, be mindful that this look can actually be achieved simply with a pencil or a normal pen as well. Just be sure to make the downstroke um, thicker in comparison to the upstrokes. I'm actually going ahead and layering some more darker color on top of my lettering because I felt that once it dried, it looked a little faded. So I'm gonna layer it with some darker color. And that's about it. I'll just finish off the piece with this tiny bunny ear accent. I'm gonna use a blush pink color for the inner sides of the ear and a gorgeous gray shade for the um, outer ears. And that's it. We are done with our Easter themed wreath. A very happy Easter if you're celebrating. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post such easy fun videos and if you're subscribed to my channel you would be notified the moment I upload a new video. 
that way you'll not miss out on any content from the whimsical creative also if you would like to have an up close look and behind the scenes then do follow me over at instagram where i share a lot of my floral explorations behind the scenes from the studio and lots of other stuff if you choose to recreate it make sure to tag me and share with me over at instagram i would love to admire your work and share it with others all right that's it for today's video thank you for joining in and painting along with me i'll see you in my next one happy creating